Yo, what is up guys? We are here for our week two match of the PWM as you might have noticed from the thumbnail. Today I got our, pat our battle against Villa Smogon aka PWM Ski Ski. Uh, I was hoping to make this a relatively quick match as I was hanging out with a friend. Uh, actually going back to my place. Uh, he's in the UK so he had to have his uh, battle around 1am. Which is really nice of him. He was about to go to bed so uh, <laughs> really cool dude. But uh, we got our match here, and like I said, I was trying to make it relatively quick. But as you can see, he decided to bring stall, which uh, I didn't have. I was on my phone playing this game, and I didn't have the team that I wanted to bring. But it actually worked out because this team has a bandit Staraptor on it, and I'm probably going to do a full live with it. It's actually really good. And uh, basically, I had two win conditions this game, both being Staraptor and Heatran. Heatran is a Magma Storm variant, as I really like to use right now in this metagame. We're rocking Mega Manectric, Scarf Keldeo, Healing Wish Latios, which will come into play later, as I never really get off a of Healing Wish, but I'll explain. And we have a Rocky Helmet, Stealth Rocks, Landorus. So I'll just start it up for you guys. You're going to see, obviously, he leads Sableye, predict that, and lead with Heatran. Just trying to trap him with Magma Storm, as he actually goes for a turn one fake out. So uh, I'm thinking here that he's actually going to switch out after this turn as I'm going to get leftovers. He's going to see that I'm a leftovers variant. He actually decides to stay in on my Toxic. I would predicted the Quagsire. I would have really liked to get that thing toxic, uh, toxic early on. But he decides to go for a knockoff and stay in. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to fire off a Magma Storm here. It's going to get a crit, but he's going to recover it all off anyway. And on the next turn, I'm going to go for Earth Power, trying to get a special defense drop. I don't get it. I go for another one on the next turn. I'll just wait for it to catch up here. You guys are going to see he's actually going to go for another recover right here. I go for another Earth Power as he switches out into his Chansey. So uh, trying to get a, another special defense drop on that, obviously. Uh, I don't think I want to stay in on the next turn, if I'm not mistaken. Just wait for it to, to catch up once again. So I actually do. I stay in and I go for a taunt so he's not able to get up his Stealth Rocks, which is really good. But here I'm going to switch out into my Landorus, uh, predicting him to want to stay in and go for a Seismic Toss, but he actually decides to switch out into his Gliscor. Perfectly fine. I'm just going to fire off a U-turn here because I don't want him going into Sableye and getting off uh, Stealth Rocks on my side and bouncing them back. So I'm just going to U-turn into uh, my Keldeo right here, I believe. No, I actually go into my Staraptor. And I'm just going to fire off a Brave Bird because I want to gauge the damage on his uh, Skarmory to see how much it does to see if he's physically or specially defensive. Actually, I choose to go for a close combat right here, so uh, covering the Chansey switch as well. I don't think I'm going to stay in this turn, predicting his Roost. Uh, I'm actually going to go back into Heatran right here, exactly. He's going to Roost up, gaining all that health back. And I think I'm just going to fire off another Magma Storm right here, trying to trap something. He chooses to go into his Gliscor, and I actually missed this turn. Now, this is very important because I wasn't able to gauge the amount of damage that I was doing to Gliscor. So I'm forced to switch out here and go back into my Landorus. And right here, uh, he's going to knock off again. And once again, I think I'm just going to go for a U-turn as he taunts. He is faster than me, so I don't know if he's actually faster than my Heatran, but I don't think so. So I'm going to U-turn out here, and I think this is the turn. I go into Manectric. Uh, with the minus one, if I would get off another minus one and go for an HP Ice, I would put him in a bad position. So I choose to Mega Evolve and actually go for the Volt Switch directly, predicting him to switch, and not into his Quagsire. So he goes into his Chansey to suck up the hit. Just going to Volt Switch here, and switch right on out into my Straptor once again. Here I'm going to Brave Bird this time. I knew I had Brave Bird the Skarmory at least once. So I'm just going to gauge the damage from the Brave Bird. It actually does 41%, which is really good because if I can get him to switch out without recovering, that means that I'll be able to two-hit KO him the next time he comes in. He actually decides to go for a spike right here, so that means that I can do that in the future. So he switches out of his Skarmory here, going into his obvious switch being Amoongus. I just fire off a Skull, trying to get a burn off on something. Obviously, if it was Chansey, it would have a natural cure, be able to heal it off. But I just wanted to at least gauge the damage, see how much it would do. I go for another Skull right here, predicting the Spore, because I want my Keldeo to sleep. Like I said before, my Heatran and my Staraptor are my win conditions against his team. So I'm going to switch out here, making sure not to take a Giga Drain. His Amoongus goes for Giga Drain, obviously does negligible damage to Heatran. And I'm going to uh, to just fire off yet another Magma Storm, I believe. As he chooses to go back into Gliscor this time. And this time I'll be able to see the damage. And as you can see, it does 51%. After the, uh, the Toxic Heal and the Magma Storm damage from, from the turn passing by, he is in range of another one, and I go for it. And he keeps his Gliscor in because he obviously can't switch out. And that's one big threat gone. It's very, very hard for me to beat that with uh, Staraptor as he can pivot between that and Skarmory. 
uh, with Landorus. Landorus wouldn't be able to do anything with that thing around, so there I switch into uh, Keldeo to take a Skull. Don't want my Heatran to take it. And I'm going to double into Seraptor, predicting his Amoongus to come in. And here I just go for what I believe to be a Brave Bird and knock out his Sableye. And this is very crucial, as now I'll be able to get up rocks, and I don't have to worry about his Sableye coming in on a Toxic later with Heatran. So here I'm going to switch right into my Latias, trying to get rid of the spike, hoping that he would spike up again, but he actually chooses to go for Whirlwind. That's fine, because he brings me into Keldeo. If he wants to Brave Bird, I'll just go back into Latias. And if he wants to give me the potential to wake up, then that's great. So he goes into Chansey. He doesn't choose to go into Moongus, which is really good. I guess he predicted my switch into Staraptor again. So I'm just going to stay in with Keldeo, trying to burn off some sleep, as this time he's going to... Obviously, I haven't attacked yet, so I can go for the Secret Sword. He's going to switch into a Moongus, and I actually stay asleep, which is cool, because now he can't sleep uh, something else. I choose to go back into Latias here as he actually doubles into his Quagsire, which is perfectly fine because I can go right for the Defog, get rid of the Spike, which is uh, threatening my Heatran right now, and uh, basically just go right back into my Staraptor, uh, my Landorus actually this turn. I'm going to get up my Rocks here as that will put uh, Skarmory in 100% range of being uh, two hit KO'd by two Brave Birds from Staraptor, so. Uh, gonna get up my rocks right here. Obviously, my Staraptor doesn't want to take rocks, so I just throw off a Stone Edge here just to see what he's gonna go for. He actually chooses to go for Whirlwind, which is great. Gets me out into Keldeo, and right here, I can't exactly remember what I chose to do. I actually chose to go into Latias here, I think. Nope, Heatran, okay. So that pretty much catches the switch into Amoongus, which means now I can go for another Magma Storm. And at this point, his team is getting weakened from between Magma Storm and the pressure from, from Staraptor. So he goes into Quagsire here. I'm able to fire off a Magma Storm. And predicting him to want to either go for Recover or something strange, I'm actually going to Toxic him this turn. And this is why getting rid of Sableye was so important. I'm going to Toxic him. He's on a time now he can't just stay in on things infinitely and uh, here I'm gonna switch out on his Scald I believe and go straight into Latias there we go and then I'm gonna throw off a Psy Shock and catch his Chansey and this is pretty much the pivotal turn of the game right here he goes into his Chansey on my Psy Shock and he's pretty much forced to recover up because if I get a crit on the next Psy Shock as I am Life Orb uh, he will go down so he's forced to recover here, so I'm going to go for Defog and get off, uh, get away these rocks. Basically, the rock damage versus the Seismic Toss damage from Chansey right here on my Straptor is about the same, but I don't want to take both. So I get rid of the rocks, I go into Straptor, and here I close combat. I could have Brave Birded, but I would have potentially gone down to Recoil, I believe, and I want to be able to Healing Wish up this Straptor later with my Latias. So here I'm going to switch out on his Amoongus. I'm locked into close ca combat being banded. He's going to go for a Giga Drain. It's going to do absolutely nothing to Heatran. And right here I'm going to go for Magma Storm one last time on his Quagsire. As you can see from the damage from before, it does put him in range of an Earth Power. Uh, I actually get a crit on this turn, but I don't believe the crit matters uh, as his Quagsire goes down. And is this the turn where... Yeah, so he forfeits right here. So we are able to pick up our week one, uh, week two, excuse me, our week two match of the PWM. Glad I could come through for my teammates. Don't want to be a liability ever. So there you guys, go, uh, there you guys go. <laughs> excuse me. Uh, so we're able to pick that one up. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the battle, if you want to see more of them, hit that like button down below. Subscribe. Leave a comment uh, if there's anything you want. Uh, if you have any questions about the battle, anything at all. And thanks again for watching, guys. Have a good one.